Are you here to heal the world? Or to destroy it? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five amazing details in the Morbius trailer. What did you do to yourself, Doctor? I wish I knew. For this list, we're looking at the best Easter eggs, plot hints, and references that appeared in the second trailer for this vampiric film. Since we'll be talking about events from the latest MCU and Venom movies, beware of spoilers ahead. What do you want to see most in the Morbius movie? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Oscorp Industries The second Morbius trailer made sure that viewers knew a few of the movie's major events would be taking place in or around New York City. Dr. Michael Morbius? You've been missing for two months. When you're a stranger. Then you were found on a container ship that washed up off Long Island. But one of the biggest and most ominous signs they were in the Big Apple was the presence of an Oscorp Industries building. Traditionally, the main tower is located in Manhattan and run by none other than Norman Osborn himself. I started this company. You know how much I sacrificed? This smart and sinister businessman has a long history of becoming the villain known as Green Goblin. At the same time, his company has been behind some shady experiments. Maybe Jared Leto's Morbius will travel to Oscorp in the hopes of finding an unconventional cure to his vampiric condition in the movie. And if he does, he may run into Mr. Osborn in the main lobby. Would the Green Goblin come out and play to fight Morbius? Or would Osborn try to convince the doctor to work for him? There's only one who can stop us. Or imagine if he joined us. Number four, there was a Peter Parker connection on the horizon. People all over the world have my disease. I'm here to find a cure. If stopping by Oscorp doesn't work out, Morbius could always try the Horizon Lab building we saw in the preview. This famous Marvel location features wondrous technology and a few of the brightest scientists around. And it just so happens that Peter Parker has spent some time working there. When this shot of Horizon Labs is combined with the Spider-Man imagery we saw in the trailer, it feels like it's all but confirmed that some version of the webhead exists in this universe. Peter's presence could be extremely game-changing for Morbius. During one of their many battles, the vampiric anti-hero bit Spider-Man. The combination of the webhead's blood and lightning temporarily cured Morbius. If he learns about the potential healing properties of Spider-Man's blood in this universe, Peter may be part of the Doctor's next meal. I can't give you my blood. Not right now. Excuse me. It's too dangerous. Number three, the Daily Bugle gives us a big scoop. He's a criminal, that's who he is. A vigilante, a public menace. What's he doing on my front page? While Dr. Morbius is trying to keep a low profile on the streets of New York, he picks up a Daily Bugle newspaper. We were immediately thrilled that J. Jonah Jameson's journalism outlet got a shout out here. Although it's unclear whether he'll make a cameo, we did spot a few other exciting names on the newspaper cover. While the Daily Bugle story on an escaped rhino could be referring to an animal, it also felt like a reference to the famous supervillain. Is he running around this version of New York too? The newspaper also ran an article about the famous thief Black Cat, aka Felicia Hardy. Do you ever miss this? What? Me getting shot at while you steal things? Over the years, this daring character has clashed with Spider-Man numerous times. She's also been known to have a complex romantic relationship with him. Although Sony's plans to release a movie where Black Cat was a main character never panned out, the Daily Bugle's article may be the first hint that we'll see her on screen soon. I'm just curious. Yeah, I hear that's bad for cats. How about you tell me why you're really here? I was just waiting for the right moment. Number two, a possible vulture partnership. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Doc? Michael Keaton has now made memorable appearances in two Morbius previews. On both occasions, he was wearing a white jumpsuit. Keaton memorably rocked a similar outfit when his Adrian Toomes character was sent off to prison at the end of Spider-Man Homecoming. Seeing him in virtually identical clothes in Morbius seemed to suggest the two films take place in the same universe. If Keaton is definitely playing the same Vulture, then his words in the second trailer carry extra meaning. Hey, uh, Dr. Mike, you and I should stay in touch. Although he was a villain for most of Homecoming, he did refuse to give up Spider-Man's identity when another criminal asked. You know who he is? 
If I knew who he was, he'd already be dead. This noble action showed that Vulture isn't just purely evil. Maybe this high-flying rogue wants to take Morbius under his wings and make sure the vampire stays on the right path. Regardless of why Vulture chose to reach out, we'd love to see him flying alongside Morbius. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Morbius May Follow Venom Into the MCU We were pleasantly surprised when one of the characters in Morbius talked about an incident in San Francisco. We haven't had anything this good since that thing in San Francisco. Since the 2018 Venom movie was set in the city, we assumed the line of dialogue was just going to be a subtle reference to that alien anti-hero. But everything changed at the end of the trailer. Who the hell are you, Matt? I am Venom. I'm just kidding, it's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. Hearing Morbius directly name drop Venom has gigantic implications for the vampire's future. In the post credit scene for Venom Let There Be Carnage, Eddie and his alien friends suddenly find themselves in a strange place. While they're trying to get their bearings, they see Tom Holland's Spider-Man on TV. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the if they can learn how to leave and enter the Marvel Cinematic Universe at will, maybe they can bring other people along too. This means there could be a future MCU movie that features Morbius. The vampire just better hope that he doesn't end up in the new Blade story. You've been exposed to them. One way or another, somebody's gonna take you out. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.